Okay. Three, two, one. Can we get you to say your name and then spell it out, please? David Gerald, D A V I D G E R A L D, Smith County ESD2. And so, can you tell us a little bit about what happened? I mean, how did this fire start? What took place is there was a hay cutting operation going on. A gentleman was raking hay. He actually knew exactly what started it. He raked across a iron ore rock, called as soon as he noticed the smoke, and he was unable to head it off. It started out basically off my left shoulder and moved towards Tyler, basically in a northwestern pattern. And so it was a rock, just like a rock that was underneath it. It's a hay rake when they're raking hay. It's got fingers on it and pull the hay together. And what happened, there was a rock in the pasture. The rake raked across it and caused a spark. And so, do you know how many acres burned? At this time, we're estimating between 15 to 20. We'll have a better estimate as soon as Forest Service gets through doing a total acreage count on it. And so that house back there, we, we heard that it was endangered. How were you guys able to battle that off and keep that, that safe? This house behind me was in danger. Uh, we were able to stage an engine with it to maintain containment for it. Uh, there was a barn back over my right shoulder that was lost and a small storage shed. The rest of the structures involved, which would have been a total of three if they were safe. How close to the house did the fire get? Within 25, 30 foot. And so the guy that was raking up the hay, is that the house that he lives in or was he? It's unknown at this time. I think he just cuts the hay on the property. Was there a loss of, of some sort of produce here or? There was a loss of the hay that had been cut down. He had, not, he had only bailed, I think, about four bales of hay. So we lost four bales plus whatever he had not bailed. So that was all. But no one was injured in this bag. No, nobody's been injured or anything. Was it just Smith County that answered this call? Yes, all Smith County. How long did it take you guys to contain it? Uh, it was approximately 20 to 30 minutes before we were able to get a full containment on it. And approximately, I'd say, Without looking at the time, within 45 minutes to an hour and a half before we would get full containment total. Which departments uh, responded? I might have to edit this one. It's okay. <laughs> All right. You got Chapel Hill is the primary department, ARC, Jackson Heights, White House Volunteer Fire Department, City of White House Fire Department. Red Springs had a tanker here at one time. Uh, two personnel from Flint. I might be missing one or two, but I think it's pretty. Why not? I had two or three trucks here also. So, is there something called like a seven alarm fire? <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. We, box, we tend to box alarm large fires, and that tends to start out with three to four departments within the surrounding area, and then if bigger than that. With the wind we've got today, it automatically bumped it up as soon as they got here. With as much fuel was out there, with the good hay and dry as it was, it went to running so fast on the ground with short grass like it was, couldn't keep up with it, so we had to box out three to four. Okay, so what would you classify it as? Yeah, that's You're guessing, like four alarm fire? Is uh, there a certain? You could, yeah. Okay. You could consider four alarm, because there was four different boxes involved in this. But the wind was a huge factor. The, the wind, wind spread The so wind quickly. was a huge factor and the humidity's down. So that, that plays a huge factor in all of this. Right now it's just really dangerous. Any spark right now could tend to set this off just like this. This was a spark from one to a rock. So. Is there any recommendation you would make to somebody that's doing something like this and these things happen? Not really. Just be cautious, and if you can, have a fire extinguisher with you. But don't take any chances of extinguishing something and get hurt. Okay, I'm hoping anybody have any other questions? Anybody else? Did I answer everything? I think so. Looks like that's